The number one predictor of a city or country or region that will do well economically over the next 10, 20, 30 years is how fast the population is growing, either through new babies being born or through new immigrants coming into that region, assuming those immigrants are economically viable to that region. And so you can predict which regions of the world will do well based on their growth rates. And in this video, I will show you the actual data behind the fastest growing cities and the fastest growing countries in the world to give you a good idea as to where you should either move to or use as economic flags. I am Caleb Jones, this is Sovereign CEO. I teach people just like you how to set up location independent businesses, move to a less bad country, or at least set up an international backup plan and do all the above things without spending a lot of money. I am here in Yerevan, Armenia. This is my hotel room in the background, working on my Armenian passport. There will be a video coming very shortly on exactly what I'm doing and how you can do what I'm doing. But in this video, we're gonna talk about the fastest growing cities, the fastest growing regions, the fastest growing places, countries in the world, because these are critical to know in terms of your business goals and your financial goals and your five flags goals over the course of the next several years of your life. You want to use economic flags that are growing, not economic flags that are dying. And the best way to tell which regions will do well economically, it's not 100%, but the best indicator are growth rates. So I'm going to show you some data here on the top 10 fastest growing cities in the world based on various different factors. So I'm going to give you several different lists. Plus, I'm going to cover some dying cities, and I'm also going to cover birth rates. We cover a lot of data in this video. And by the end of this video, you will fully understand which places in the world are growing economically and which places are dying economically, I think you're going to be surprised. Now, first off, according to, I have my screen in front of me here, worldpopulationreview.com, here are the top 10 fastest growing cities in the entire world right now. These have very high population growth rates and or birth rates, and I will discuss the difference between population growth and birth rate growth a little later in this video. So here they are in order. Some of these cities, I will warn you in advance, I cannot pronounce because they have really weird names, but I will do my best. Number one top of the list is Malapuram, India. Number two is Chantho, Vietnam. Number three is Suquan, China. Never been to that city, interesting. Number four is Kazikode, I think. Starts with a K, India. Number five, Abuja, Nigeria. I've talked about Nigeria a lot. Number six, Shuzhou, China. I love Shuzhou, I've been there several times. Great city, I'm very happy they're growing. Number seven, Sharjah in the United Arab Emirates. Let me give you a little fact. Sharjah is 20 minutes from my house in Dubai. Sharjah is the number seven fastest growing city in the entire world out of how many cities are there in the world? Thousands upon thousands? It's number seven. One of the reasons I chose Dubai as a place to move to, because I live in Dubai now, is that Dubai is going to double their population by 2040. It is a very, very fast growing region. And Sharjah is another city, it's actually a different emirate than Dubai, but it borders Dubai. And it's essentially, they're gonna get mad at me for saying this, but it's true. It's essentially a suburb of Dubai. So a lot of workers come in Dubai to work and then they live in Sharjah because it's cheaper. The rents are cheaper in Sharjah. I've been to Sharjah many times. It is literally 20 minutes from my house. So I am ground zero for this explosive population growth and this economic growth. Dubai is doing very well economically now and it will continue to do well over the next 10 to 20 years. All right, moving off the list. Putian, China is number eight. Number nine is Muscat, Oman. Now, another fact, Oman is the neighboring country next to my country, the United Arab Emirates. Oman is just like three hours away by car, so there you go. And number 10 is Kolam, India. Now, let me ask you a question. Of those top 10 fastest growing cities in the world, how many were in the West? Two, three, no, none, none. They're all non-Western cities, non-Western countries. That should tell you something. All right, now, I'm gonna give you a separate list. Instead of worldpopulationreview.com, this one is sourced by the United Nations World Urbanization Prospects Report. And these are the fastest growing cities as a slightly different list, but you'll notice some similarities. Number one on this list is Delhi, India. Number two is Shanghai, China. Number three is Dhaka in Bangladesh. Number four is Kinshasa in Congo. Number five is Chongqing in China. Number six is Lahore in Pakistan. Number seven is Bangalore, India. Number eight is, of course, Lagos, Nigeria. Number nine is Cairo, Egypt. And number 10 is Beijing, China. 
Now, let me ask you that question again. How many of those cities, of the fastest growing cities in the world, are Western cities? Located in the United States, Canada, Europe, Australia, New Zealand? None, none. They're all outside of the West, and the vast majority of them, let's see here, with the exception of the two in Africa, they're all in where? Asia. What have I been saying for 10 years plus? The West is collapsing, Asia is rising. And in terms of population, Africa is also rising. Now, let me switch gears a little bit and talk about the fastest growing cities in terms of birth rate. So there are two ways in which your city can grow quickly. One way is obviously people can move there. That's what's happening in Sharjah. Lots of people are moving there because of economic activity. So that increases your population. Another way, obviously, is that more women have babies. And both of these ways count. So in this list I'm about to give you are the top 10 highest birth rate cities in the world listed in order. This is according to the United Nations. And again, I'm gonna have trouble pronouncing some of these names because none of them are in the West. Gogwalada in Nigeria, number one. Number two, Kabininda in Congo. Number three, Roop, P Roop Johnny? Man, sucks. In Bangladesh. Number four, Lokaja in Nigeria. Number five, U-I-G-E, I have no idea how to pronounce that. In Angola, interesting. Uh, number six is Bujambura in Burundi. Number seven, Songjia in Tanzania. Do you notice a commonality with all these countries? Interesting. Number eight is Shangan, China. Number nine is Potiskum in Nigeria. And last one, number 10 is Bunia in the Congo. So let's go back through that list. First of all, how many were Western? None, okay. How many were in uh, Africa? Um, all of them except Zhongan in China. Okay, there you go. That should tell you something about where the population growth is occurring and where the migrations are occurring. See, here's the problem. You guys keep hearing about and talking about and stressing about all the Mexicans moving into the United States or all the North Africans moving into Europe. There's real population growth in other places that are far beyond these places. All right, I'm gonna give you another top 10 list by another source. This is citymonitor.ai, and I'm gonna whip through them really quick, and they are listed in order. Delhi, India, Shanghai, China, Dhaka, Bangladesh, Kinshasa in Congo, Chongqing, China, Lahore, Pakistan, Bangalore, India, Lagos, Nigeria, Cairo, Egypt, Beijing, China. Again, you see the commonality here? Asian cities, for the most part, some in Africa, none in the West. Now, let's flip the script here. Let's talk about the slowest growing cities. In other words, this would be cities with the fastest population decline. The cities that are actually dying because everyone is moving out and or no one's having babies or not enough women are having babies. And I'll cover that in great detail in a moment. So I think you will be surprised. Some of you are gonna be actually upset to hear this list. All right, here we go. Number one, top of the list, and this is according to the United Nations. These are countries, not cities. Bulgaria. Number two, Lithuania. Number three, Latvia. Number four, the Ukraine. Notice some commonalities here, plus Ukraine. I have talked about this before. I have talked about how Ukraine, economically, in terms of its long-term economic future, is in very bad shape. It is basically a collapsing country, and it was like that before Putin did anything, which makes Putin more stupid for wanting to invade a country that's already collapsing. I know he wants to land, yeah, I understand. Don't give me a lecture on Putin. But you see some commonality here? Let's continue. Number five, Serbia. Number six, Bosnia-Herzegovina. Number seven, Croatia. Number eight, Moldova. Number nine, finally the first one not in Eastern Europe, Japan. What have I been saying about Japan? Japan is the only Asian nation that is actually collapsing, that is not rising because in a few decades there will be no Japan because Japanese men don't wanna have sex anymore. I've talked about that a lot in my blogs. And number 10, Albania. Every single one of these fastest population decline cities are in where? Eastern Europe, with the exception of Japan. So all these guys, and I've done videos talking about this, I've done articles talking about this, all these guys saying Eastern Europe is gonna do great, Eastern Europe is fine, yeah, Western Europe will collapse, but Eastern Europe will do great. Eastern Europe is also collapsing. When I say Europe is collapsing, I don't just mean Western Europe. I mean Western Europe and Eastern Europe. And by the way, this is completely irrelevant of all the chaos Putin has caused by invading Ukraine. There's a lot of weird economic activity going on right here in Yerevan, Armenia because of the war. Some of it bad because the exports have been really hurt here because they can't sell to Russians anymore. And some of it good because they have lots of Russians coming into the country. They have, <laughs> they have lots of Russian companies that are no 
longer allowed to do business with the West, so they're trying to do business here. So it's very weird. It's really changed the game in Eastern Europe, and for the most part, not for the better. But again, before Putin did anything, Eastern Europe was collapsing. The populations decline every year. It's gonna suck for these countries going forward economically over the next several decades. Now, let me switch gears a little bit and talk about birth rates. Now, as I said earlier, birth rate strictly means how many women in that country or region are having babies, and are they having enough babies to actually grow the population to offset population attrition. This has nothing to do with the number of people moving into the country. This is strictly the number of babies being born. Population growth via birth Birth instead of population growth via migration or immigration. Now here's the magic number, and some of you already know this. The magic birth rate number that your country needs in order to maintain its population is 2.1. That means the average woman in your country needs to have 2.1 babies on average, okay, it's an average of course, in order to maintain the population, not grow the population to maintain it. So if women are having less babies than 2.1 on average per woman in the country, your population, guess what, is declining. Your population is dying. And the only way to bolster that is to do what countries like Western European countries have done and the United States have done, is import millions upon millions upon millions of third worlders or second worlders, which overwhelms their welfare states and causes all kinds of other chaos. Also not a sign of growth. Right? Right. Now I'm going to go through a list of several countries on their growth rates, and I want you to remember the magic number of 2.1. If the number is under 2.1, that country is dying. Literally, the population is dying off, or at least the indigenous population is dying off. If it is at 2.1, it is not growing. It's just staying the same. Okay? If it's over 2.1, then it's growing. Cool? Okay, 2.1, remember that. All right. Let's look at the first country, uh, the one that you're all curious about, the United States, my ex-country, the United States. Birth rate is 1.7, 1.7. So is the USA growing or dying? What do you think? It's dying. Minus its immigration from South America, the population of the United States is dying out slowly. And by the way, if you don't believe any of these numbers, please Google them yourself. They come up very quickly. You can double check all these numbers. As usual, do your own research and verify everything I say. Don't take my word for it if you don't believe me. Google it yourself and you'll see yourself. I'm telling you the truth. All right, next one is Canada. Surely Canada would be better than the United States, right? 1.47, even worse than the United States. Canada is dying faster than the US is. Not good, Canada. All right, let's move on. Europe, now Europe's a little complicated because there's so many different countries and different regions and things like that. So let's look at the EU, the EU countries, which is mostly first world Western countries, not all of them, but mostly. That is, ready, 1.55, worse than the US, dying and dying fast. Matter of fact, the country with the highest birth rate in the EU, which is France, by the way, is 1.88, still well under 2.1. They are dying. Now let's look at Australia, 1.66. One of the worst ones on here, not good, all right? And do you see a lot of foreigners moving into Australia lately? Minus, you know, very wealthy Chinese businessmen who are taking over the country, minus that? Not really, all right. Now let's go to New Zealand, 1.72, on par with the US, which is dying. Okay, there's your Western countries, folks. There's where we are. <laughs> Does that sound like a good long-term growth strategy? Does that sound like, oh, these countries are gonna boom economically like Peter Zihan says? No, all right, so now let's look at some non-Western countries for some comparison. You might be interested to know. Let's look at, uh, let's see, let's look at India. India, one of the biggest countries in the world, almost a billion people over there. India is an economic powerhouse, and if they clean up their act, and who knows if they will or not, they can become more powerful in the future. 2.2. So they are growing, although growing very slowly, but they are growing, but my point is they're not dying. And again, this is a country with almost a billion people in it, and they're still growing. The United States, Canada, Australia, these countries have a tiny fraction of the population of India, and they're dying. You see what's going on here, you see the problem? All right. Let's look at some African countries. Now, get ready to freak out. Get ready to be shocked, because I was shocked at these numbers. Nigeria, which I've talked about many times. You're gonna have individual cities in our lifetimes in Nigeria with over 80 million people in one little city. It's gonna be crazy. Population growth is insane down there. The birth rate for Nigeria, ready for this? 5.3. Actual multiples, not just higher than the West, multiples of the West. 
the average woman in Nigeria cranks out 5.3 babies. Isn't that crazy? Now, that's not even the highest birth rate in Africa that I could find. Here's another one, Niger. This is insane. You ready for this? The country of Niger, birth rate, 6.8, almost seven. So in the United States, the average woman has 1.7 babies. In Niger, she has almost seven. They are, as I've said many times, they are a humping and a pumping and a reproducing down in Africa. The white people don't even have a chance long term. Are you kidding me? Dude. All right. So there you go. That gives you an indication of the flags and the economic opportunities that you should look at throughout the world and the places you should probably abandon and leave. Again, I walk my talk. I left the United States, a dying country, an economically collapsing country, a low birth rate country, to Dubai, right next to Sharjah. Sharjah is the seventh fastest growing city in the world. Dubai is certainly probably in the top 50, if not the top 20 fastest growing countries and or cities in the world. So I walk my talk. This is something that is not difficult to do. Now I'm not saying you have to move to Nigeria, okay? Or move to India. But you can certainly A, move out of the West, which is what I did, and B, use the faster growing areas as economic flags and avoid the areas, Eastern Europe, that are dying in terms of both population growth and economics. Cool? Cool. I will see you in the next video. Have fun. Bye.